I'm currently travelling around Iceland on a 10-day ring road group trip. Yesterday evening, it was just so beautiful here. It was like probably on the highest of the trip so far. I've been saying that probably everywhere I've been so far, but it just keeps getting better and better. It's my first time in the country, and this tour is a bespoke itinerary I created with Intrepid Travel and then put on sale to people that follow my channel. We have landed on a yet another planet. <laughs> just disgusting. Right. One does not simply <laughs> walk into wherever we are. And <laughs> 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 break! <laughs> So hopefully we get to spot somewhere else today. Oh my god, it's amazing! <laughs>starting from Reykjavik, our journey began with the popular Golden Circle route. On our way, we saw... You know what? In the last video, we established that Waleed does a far better voiceover than me, so let me hand the narration over to him. Thanks, Carl. I'll take it from here. The first day set the bar pretty high, with incredible waterfalls, geysers, and that night, we were treated to the Northern Lights. Continuing east on the ring road, we saw black sand beaches and diamond beaches. We even went cruising between icebergs on a glacier lagoon. This piece here is about 1,000 year old. After that, we went exploring an ice cave below the glacier. I think this is the most impressive place I have ever been. Each place we visited kept taking us by surprise and surpassed our expectations. This is insane. <laughs> the weather had been on our side and as we settled down at our farm stay, we hoped our good fortune would continue for the second half of our trip. Good morning from the middle of nowhere. Whoa, absolutely freezing here this morning. This sort of huge open valley area and the wind's just cutting right across it. <laughs> He's a good boy. Aww. Are you a good boy? <laughs> oh, hello I down there. <laughs> <gasps> Look at that. How's your log cabin? Oh, you know, this will do. <laughs> I live here now. I'm one with the mountains. <laughs> hey, can you pronounce the name of this place? No. No, I can't. <laughs> Hi-ho! Onward! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> ah, this is where all the uh, tourists are buried, I see. <laughs> What's the name of this farm again? Möðrudalur. Möðrudalur á fjöllum. Okay. I, I'm not going to translate that. <laughs> Basically means middle of nowhere. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. This morning, just as we piled on the van to leave, we all quickly jumped off again because we spotted an arctic fox. <laughs> I mean, what so it, close. It's an Arctic fox. Arctic fox. <laughs> oh, mate, do it again. Okay. Everybody got their things? Sure. sure. The plan for today is we'll be stopping at a couple of waterfalls, a volcanic lake, boiling mud pools, and then finishing in Akureyri, the capital of Northern Iceland, where we'll be doing our whale watching tomorrow. The first waterfall we're stopping at was featured in the opening scene of Ridley Scott's alien prequel, Prometheus. This is a uh, deadly forest. Uh, another huge waterfall. It's the but yes. But yeah, it does. There's been lots of sort of references like this feels like another planet, but this right now does feel very otherworldly like walking through this barren wasteland. And it's freaking freezing. It's not been colder than this, has it? And like, no matter how much gear you think you brought with you, it's probably not enough. <laughs> My face is in the 
lot. Dead things. Don't don't walk over the dice. Here it is. Oh. As much as it looks like we're walking through the closed area, because it very clearly says closed here, you pay a little bit more attention, you realize that there's another route, and then you realize why that might be closed by looking at it. <laughs> There's nowhere else on, like, on Earth that I've seen or even heard of that looks anything like this. You good? <laughs> I'd like to know. We died the horse. That's my fellow Ronnie Jokers or Gluver. Glycelect. South coast of Iceland, but that town is uh, not with a waterfall, so <laughs> this is much better. Our next stop is a volcanic crater lake which has a bit of an interesting name. Okay, nice, I think the name of the crater is Vite, which simply means hell in English. Before we got to hell, we made a quick stop at the geothermal heated perpetual shower. You don't go to hell with turkey hair, it's cold. Do you? No, I guess not. Oh. Having a shower before I go to hell. Oh, that's nice. Do like the uh... <laughs> Play back. Yeah, of course. Because you get cold now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, it's lovely. All the way down. <laughs> 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 oh, that's actually really nice. It's getting cold. Well, it, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, let's go to hell. Go to hell. The smell is very fitting to the location where we are heading to. Smells like hell. <laughs> Hopefully, I will not slide off the road. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Oops. Is it, is it? What? <laughs> you have a quarrel with somebody, and, and somebody tells you to go to hell. Well, then you can reply, yes, I've been there, and it's a really nice place. <laughs> Okay, now we're in Iceland. <laughs> so this is definitely the coldest and windiest it's been. <laughs> You're fine with it, so it's like home. Eh? Just like home. <laughs> like Kandaroo. Wild spring day where I'm from. <laughs> 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 that was the irony of today. We went to hell and it was freaking freezing. Like the wind tore right through us. <laughs> Continuing our exploration of this geothermal area, our next stop is a place known as the Geyser Strip. 
we have landed on a yet another planet. <laughs> it's our third planet of the day. Yeah, exactly. We're to the moon, Hoth, and now Mars. It's disgusting. That's the eggy smell of sulfur that's making us heave. No vegetation grows here due to the heat beneath the earth and the acidity in the soil. It is a barren wasteland and the very air you breathe is a poisonous fume. But we should be alright, it just smells bad. <laughs> you got a live one. Oh god, <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> it smells worse than Rotorua. <laughs> yeah. Not warm enough to... I don't want to put my fingers in in case it is actually hot. I very much but... doubt it, but I don't want to test it with my finger. Yeah. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going in. <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. <laughs> Leaving the geothermal area behind, we stop for lunch at a small farm resort. <laughs> it's kind of like when you go have lobster dinner. You pick out your lobster. Here, it's, which cow would you like? <laughs> Amazing. Isn't that amazing? What are we going for? Mm -hmm. What are we going for? This right here, uh, sex on a plate. This is, <laughs> again, I call everything that. What's it actually called? Arctic char. Nice. Cow tongue. Very nice. <laughs> we going for the burgers. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, cow. Sorry, cows. Should deal with a bad situation. <laughs> Basically, it's like a garden of lava castles. It translates to something like dark castles or lava castles? Dark castles, I Dark think, yeah. castles, yeah. What was the name of this place again? Dembe Borgir. Okay. And this place is called Hatlar Flood. <laughs> yep, that yeah. translates roughly to? Dembe uh, Borgir might mean something like dark ca castles, yeah. and Hatlar Flood might translate to something like a palace garden. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Well, you say it's like a garden of castles, that's what I was thinking, yeah. yeah. Dimmerborgir is said to be the home of the Yule Lads, the 13 Santa Clauses of Iceland. Unlike the American Santa, they are quite the troublemakers, and in the 13 nights before Christmas, these trolls come one by one to steal from and play pranks on Icelanders. Although Laris explains that that's changing a bit now. Today, the Yule Lads are giving children something nice. In the past, they were thieves. They came to people to steal from us, not to give us. Your abilities in spotting uh, sculptures in the lavas. After having dri driven around half of Iceland, you should be able to spot beautiful things here. Help you a little bit. You see, if you go look into this direction, you see between the rocks, two giants. They are having an arm rest. <laughs> and a little bit to the right, you see the hole up there. This is like a polar bear oh, having a shit. <laughs> One for you, Milda. But I want to show you a puffin in a moment. Oh, it's not a real puffin. <laughs> Last spot of the day before we get to the town tonight. Go to Foss. Go to Foss. Go to, go, go to Foss, which means God. I ended up being the. the the resident expert on the language the, 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 Yeah, I can't speak English. <laughs> I speak Icelandic. Anyway, uh, it means God, God's waterfall, but it's named after the Viking gods. I was paying attention to that bit, not uh, the Christian god. But it's one I've been looking forward to seeing the most, because it was on the brochure picture we used for the tour. So. <laughs> saying that this one for whatever reason is our favorite because it, it's just it's, it's more picturesque than the other ones the other ones are bigger they're louder they're taller but this one's just so pretty <laughs> what she said <laughs> we didn't get this point we've been living together for a week now so it's just Boys. the mind melts we have okay everybody here yeah so while we are driving to Akurir about half an hour drive then you can try to learn this word here it's uh, highlighted and there is a picture of this object. You see it here. I pass it around and I will, you will have a test when you come to Akureyri. <laughs> 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 
After a long day of exploring, we arrived at Akureyri for the evening. It's the second largest city in Iceland, although the word city seems a bit generous with a population of just 20,000 people. After the financial crash in Iceland in 2008, the town was determined not to lose spirit and so installed glowing hearts in all of the traffic lights to boost morale. So we have just arrived for the night. It is raining, hence me filming on my phone. We got dinner in about an hour and a half. And it's about to get dark, so we're just... <laughs> That's a cute town though, isn't it? Very nice. I am about to go for some Icelandic sweater shopping. Yep, as am I. After doing a bit of shopping and having a lovely dinner, all we could do was hope that the weather would clear for our whale watching tour tomorrow. All right, good morning. So today we're going whale watching. Now, the weather is behaving. We've been very lucky with the weather on this trip and it's, that luck is continuing right now. Just whether that weather luck will transfer into whale luck. So hopefully we get to spot some whales today. And that'd be awesome, but we'll see what happens. And here's a group down here. He's not gonna take it. Tim's gonna take it now. <laughs> One way around. I'll give you best price, full tickets. Best price. <laughs> How much, Chris? How much do you want to get on the boat for? <laughs> that didn't work out. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> you're too fast. Uh, looks like you're having a whale, whale of a time. time. <laughs> <laughs> the fjord we're going to be cruising along is one of the longest in Iceland, and the most common species spotted here are the humpback whales. Well, watching is our passion. Also, your business. <laughs> Overall, I said he's a pretty comfy. Wop wop. Wop wop wop. Just saying, um, the boat ride's beautiful in itself. Like to have a clear day out of this snow-capped mountains all around. So the whale's just a little bonus. But we've got perfect conditions to see him because it's completely flat uh, sea in front of us in this fjord. So if they're out there, we should see him. Oh, we love it. Love it. Love what it. What a scenery. Yeah, it's all right. Don't <laughs> <laughs> okay. worry. Well, well. Distance, but just, just, just gone down for a dive, and they obviously go down for a dive for a while. But apparently, there's a few more out, so we're gonna go out to see them. We got it, we got Whales. it. Whales, you guys see it? Do you all see it? Did you see it? I saw it. Yes, yeah, saw a little tail. John finds it all immediately. You know he was like, them. Oh, I got it before I, the lady even said. I got an Amazing. unfair advantage, yeah. I was a navigator uh, in the Navy, so I could spot anything. Spotted another one. I spotted it. I'm sure they would have as well. But there we go. I know. <laughs> oh. Long 
Wow. Oh, I can hear it. It's going oh. Oh. Got it. <laughs> so we just had two of them right by the boat that went down together. And there's another one a bit further away. So there's plenty around this area. Okay. See it? Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Oh, that was incredible. She's so as you can see, we have a lot of whales in the fjords, and these two were traveling together. Oh, and at 10 o'clock, one, two, just stop that thing. Oh, holy fuck! <laughs> oh, it's a Did you see the whale? <laughs> it's like we saw them earlier from a distance and we thought that's good enough and then the two were just right, pretty much right by the boat. We could hear them we were that close and so it was spoiled rotten and a perfect day like this. I mean we would happily settle for a sightseeing boat tour when it's this gorgeous but to have just two whales at once come by side you, it'll do the trick. <laughs> right next to us at our nine o'clock, heading towards the right. The whales are up again. could not have gone any better at all. I mean, the, today could have been us sitting in the rain, like huddled inside on a boat, just miserable, and maybe seen one in the distance, or seen none at all. So to have it that good, oh, we're so lucky on this trip, so lucky. That was another the best day of my life, <laughs> which uh, every day in this trip is another best day of my life, and I don't know how to handle that. <laughs> I can't believe you actually saw some whales. Really we saw like eight. Because if you've yeah. done some of that, you forget yeah. who two Anybody really is. up close. Like, oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Oh, I know that name, but where did they go? What do you think, team? Oh, 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 amazing. We are speechless. Yeah, we are speechless. Thank you for paying the whales. Yeah. <laughs> I was in constant uh, email contact with them. <laughs> They were fantastic. Yeah, so you will. You will. Yeah. <laughs> Looks darker than that. Yeah. Lovely. We do. We keep getting amazing food. Yeah. I got a bloody burger. Oh, really. yeah. That is barely cooked at yeah. all. <laughs> what do you order? Avocado fries. Deep fried avocado. Amazing. Scrumptious lesson. <laughs> wow, it's good as well, so you know what's good. <laughs> this is lovely. <laughs> that they're dawsome. I mean, this is lovely. Yeah. Well, we had an incredible whale watching tour and then just had an amazing meal in town. So we've got one very, very happy group. Very happy, happy people. Oh, happy so happy. Watching. Beautiful day. So happy. That food very was happy. just insane. The best. <laughs> Very, very happy. Very, very now we've got the longest drive of the trip. But Tim and Dom have bought donuts for everyone, so we should be alright. 
Yeah, if we can get them back. It always happens. <laughs> we, we haven't got this. We haven't got this down. Yeah, the one thing we haven't this trip we got down is getting on the bus. <laughs> I hope that we'll reach our night destination before seven o'clock. It's about a five-hour drive to reach the Snipefelsnes Peninsula that we'll be exploring tomorrow, a popular destination due to its proximity to Reykjavik. And this uh, landscape here is uh, really beautiful. These are the deepest valleys. That's the main road system. It goes through in Iceland. Mountains are about 1,500 meters on each side. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing left, is there? It was pitch black by the time we arrived, so we had no idea what kind of landscape we were in. But the only thing on our mind right now was food. And what was your name again, sorry? Johanna. Johanna. And how long have you lived here for? I grew up here. Hey. And this is my parents' family house. And uh, I was expecting guests, so I cooked like every evening. Super happy. Super happy. How long have you been having guests come here? Uh, my mother and father started with it, and then I took over Perfect. and built a lot. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Food is delicious. Dance right here. Yeah, this is my favorite. Let me take. Let me taste it. Oh, that's the face of satisfaction. You know what I'm going to say, right? <laughs> Sex on a plate. Yep. <laughs> Paper here. Unfortunately, we don't have any. Well, Did you guys finish the whiskey? All I had to buy it. You had to buy it from the government because uh, when I bought the, the land, you know, the farm, uh, they said it was X hectares or acres, yeah. like you say. Yeah. And I had nothing to do with the mountain because they don't, can't take it away. <laughs> but I had to buy it. And uh, it's useless to me. <laughs> <laughs> you had to buy a whole mountain. <laughs> yeah, I the whole mountain. <laughs> This is a nice view, I could get used to that. <laughs> the weather sorted itself out. We're going horse riding today. So guys, please, when you get the steps and your horse, of course, <laughs> then please go on the steps and then swing your right leg over the back from the horse and please sit down slowly and carefully, okay? Oh, you're giggling. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine, let's just stay like this. <laughs> Larry's really jealous right now. <laughs> You all good? <laughs> yeah, about the same now. <laughs> How you feeling, buddy? <laughs> oh, nice. This is Tate. We might. Is it Tate? No. Oh. Maybe you take. Uh, it's fat liquor. Yeah. Yeah. It's fat liquor. It's fat liquor. Fat, fat liquor. Fat liquor. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's try this again. You've been my friend for many years. <laughs> oh. 
That's just incredible. Oh, is he doing it? Oh. Yeah. I should probably film him doing it. And so that's his feet, that's his head, and this is the horse. <laughs> Go. Please. Oh, you are pretty. Uh, how are you feeling? Good. I'm on a horse. <laughs> First time riding a horse? It was a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a stunt hair pose. So, <laughs> first time riding a horse. Hey, Dewey. Morning to you. Good morning on this. Uh... <laughs> so my horse is called Fat Licker. Sounds like Fat Licker. But apparently it means beautiful. Looks like a beautiful horse. Been very well behaved so far. That was so much fun. It's just really peaceful, just riding along and doing it in this epic landscape as well. How was the horse riding? It was incredible, almost spiritual, lovely. Did you all make it back? <laughs> How much did the horse pay attention to your commands, Chris? <laughs> About <Yeah>. once. <laughs> Mine at the end, I was like, I was falling behind. I was like, right, okay, horse, speed up, speed up, yeah. and it was like. <laughs> Nay. 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 Another great start to what's going to be another great day. Yeah, you jump up, we got full Icelandic. Yeah, that's <laughs> We also are nerds. <laughs> A full native. The plan for the rest of the day is for us to loop around the peninsula which includes stopping at Iceland's most iconic mountain and then heading back to Reykjavik for the night before the final day of our tour. This is a very popular church. Frequently I have come here and there are weddings from people from all over the world who have their weddings here. This is typical Iceland, it's not just a cliff, it's a cliff with incredible rock shapes. I see your beautiful cliffs and I raise you a face of Delta. <laughs> Skurvy grass. Like this is a true story about myself. Oh. It happened about 20 years ago when I met my present wife. She was of quite a higher status than me. You know, she was from a little richer family and I was just a normal guy and didn't know how to assemble my clothes and everything. And she was a little bit uh, worried about should I go for him or not. And I took her on a car drive to the coast and said, maybe I'll give you something to eat. And she expected that I would open the trunk for a champagne and caviar or something no. like this. But I talked for a grass like this. I gave her. And she is still my wife. <laughs> okay. Oh, a lot more food than I thought it was going to be. Wow. <laughs> good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, he suddenly hits you like, oh, wow. <laughs> oh. So this was a lunch break, right? Yeah. <laughs> An appetizer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Sorry. 
We've now entered Snæfell's Jökull National Park, named after the 700,000 year old glacier capped volcano here. It became famous in the Jules Verne novel Journey to the Center of the Earth, as it's where the protagonists found the entrance to the passage leading to the center of the Earth. So on the beach here we've got the remains of a British ship that crashed here in 1948. And they decided to leave the remains and it's now part of the National Park so you can't touch them or move them or anything. So yes, yes, this is the most photographed mountain in Iceland. So uh, we're going to go photograph it. So we're going to photograph it. Well, it is very impressive. <laughs> you see why it's the most photographed thing. But I actually kind of prefer this waterfall up here. This looks like Hawaii right here. We've got these green volcanic mountains with waterfalls coming down. That evening, we headed back to where we started in Reykjavik. But we've still got one more day of exploring to go, which will take us to the volcano that's recently been spewing lava and then finish at the Blue Lagoon. camera there. <laughs> no! Reykjavik Beach. beach. Oh, it's warmer. Does it get popular in the summer, the beach? It's open all year round. Okay. Yeah, yeah. People come here in the winter as well and swim in the ocean. Oh, wow. Should yeah, that's down? Iceland for you. <laughs> <laughs> Our first stop of the day is at another point along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where the North American and Eurasian continental plates meet. Here we have divided two continental plates. <laughs> this is how we always walk. <laughs> so, this side's North America, that side's Europe. I think. <laughs> We're growing tension between the two places. Yeah. <laughs> the battle royale <laughs> between the two sides. Oh, oh, we're going to America right here. The Europeans over here. You know you got to be over here. Come on. Shots. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, the path used to go through there. You can see the old boardwalk has collapsed in. Oh, like when we had a shared bathroom a couple of nights ago. <laughs> oh, no. No, wait, wait, wait. You need the answer. Come Where's on. the drama? Jesus. Okay, okay. Now! Now! Action! Now. Run! Run! <laughs> After making one more stop at the lava shoreline, we headed to the volcano which, until just two weeks ago, had lava flowing from the peak. Um, we're at this is the final stop for the Blue Lagoon. This is the volcano that you would have seen all over social media with the massive lava eruptions. All right. One does not simply walk into wherever we are. <laughs> the lava eruptions have stopped. We can't really complain because we had such great luck on this trip so far, but we're going to go have a look at the lava field, see what we can see. I'd like to make a complaint. <laughs> okay. There's, there's no volcanoes on this volcano. <laughs> you actually plan to have any lava on this uh, lava tour? <laughs> I really hate that man. Oh, okay. Wow. Yep. I made it. <laughs> ah. Yeah, good. 
Good, as we came up over the embankment there that they built up just to um, block the flow of the lava, you're like, oh, I'm going to see some lava in a minute, I'm going to see some lava. And you come up over the top and you go, oh, there it is. Because it's good. There she lies. There it is. <laughs> The eruption began here just seven months ago after the volcano had been dormant for almost 6,000 years. It built up a lava shield that covers nearly five square kilometers. may not be flowing right now, but that is pretty incredible. There is like a four hour walking do right up to the crater, but since it's not erupted. No. It, ta it feels like rock. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that inside. Okay. Never seen anything like it. I've seen volcanoes and lava before, but not like this. It was now time for the final stop of our trip, spending the afternoon relaxing at the Blue Lagoon. As we were driving up to the lagoon, you know, it's by this big factory and then there's this giant car park and I started having this sinking feeling like, oh no, it's just going to be this overcrowded tourist hellhole. But actually, once we got in there, it was brilliant. Welcome to the Blue Lagoon. Oh, it's nice. First thing we need to find is the bar. How's everyone doing? Oh, Carl, this is amazing. <laughs> any expectation that any of us had. It's nice because it's like Beautiful. it's like busy, but it's so big it yeah, doesn't yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. We need a drink. So it works. Uh, for certainly for our ticket, get your wristband. We've got one drink included. Just go and tap it. And if you want some more, you keep tapping it. And you basically just pay your tab and all out. Hello there. <laughs> Cheers. Bing. The bar is that way. <laughs> Swim board. Cheers, guys. Cheers. I got the words wrong. Oh, it's looking good. <laughs> Just a shitload of shaving cream. <laughs> Yours is pretty sinister. You look uh, yeah. like vampire -ish. Yeah. Do you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fight me. <laughs> is there something on my face? I uh, what have you guys been doing? Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Watch your hands. <laughs> Do the apocalypse now shot. Hey, ready when you are. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work with the hair. No. Too quick. You're gonna be. Open your eyes as you come out. No, you've got a voice. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna do a slow mode. <laughs> <laughs> you need to come up the camera really low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smashed it. <laughs> It is the best. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is going to be one take. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving the Blue Lagoon, we drove back towards town for our final meal, and on the way, Laris entertained us with one last story. Are they very happy with this? And one of them giant shouted at the other. Rock was a mighty trick by the boy, but I have a solution for this. Then we went for our last meal where we got to try out some traditional Icelandic delicacies. Okay, you know, the theme of this tour has often been the fish of the day. 
true. I think uh, it's a good appropriate start of this evening is with the fish of the last year. <laughs> yeah. this is last year. I told you about the shark today, how it was fermented for maybe eight months in the total. And I told you also about the brennivin, the liquor that the government had made that was supposed to be so terrible that nobody would drink it. <laughs> it is not as bad as it sounds. What is it? Black death. You said black death. Yeah. Black death. Oh, good. Black death. Yeah. That's what I want tonight. You just take a bite like this and enjoy it. Cheers! 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 Do we have to call an ambulance again? This guy. Who's boss? This guy. Hello. <laughs> yes. Oh. What is your name? Carl. 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 Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you find for me one man and one woman, and we make them a Viking afterwards in a ceremony. Oh shit. Not this now. One man, one woman. You give me the name so I can make a diploma for them. Okay. Um, Larry and Sean. <laughs> Listen very carefully, I say this only once. Þið hafði í dag bundist blóð bundum. Þeir heiður sýkingar sem útnefndi verið í framtíðinu munu skipa lögrætt í hafnafjörakóður og þar með lögjafald inn að þess kom upp á grinni samt. Munu því vísandi við að fjörakóður sem óskur í málinu. Did you understand they say já, já, já? Já, já, já. Já, já. They passed the first test. It's a very powerful waking drink, and you have to finish this. Oh my god. Because we hate people with drinking problems. Skull. Skull. Finish. Skull. Yeah, Skull. <laughs> Very brave. Oh shit! It was a little bit of luxury oil. <laughs> but, but more via Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Larry, yes. Now you are an honorable Viking. Long may they live. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! <laughs> All right, everyone. Just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to our amazing guide, Laris. Hey! I thought, what better way to say thank you than to tell a story of our own. Okay. It's not very good, but it's quite short, so it should be all right. So, um, quite a few years ago, there was a very sad and lonely man who had a weird obsession with Lord of the Rings and Brian Adams. And then one day, he said to his brother Tim, and his friend Chris, he said to them, I want to make a travel video. And, and Chris and Tim went, no one cares, Carl. <laughs> true story. Yeah. Yes. So many times we say this. <laughs> this is all true. But he did travel. I don't know why I'm still talking about myself in the third person. But yeah, uh, he did travel. He did mm -hmm. make some videos. 
He made a very funny one where Chris nearly died. Oh. Um, funny. <laughs> and then eventually you got enough people together who'd seen those videos to go on adventures together. So then one day, he said to Tim and Chris, I want to go to Iceland. <laughs> but there's one problem. He knew jack shit about Iceland. <laughs> So he said to Intrepid Travel, we're going to need a guide. Mm -hmm. And they said to you, we're not just going to get you a guide, we're going to get you the best damn guide in Iceland. Hell yeah! <laughs> so, like, this trip, like, I mean, you've driven us around the entire country through winds, storms, mostly sunny weather. Uh, <laughs> Dark through snow. You drove us to hell and back, um, and you've entertained us with these amazing, amazing stories. You've made like this trip's just been fantastic, and it's been down to your leadership. And appreciate it so much. And my favorite thing is you've always had a smile on your face, and it's kind of like just a glint in your eye. You can see how much we're enjoying your country, and I can see how much happiness that brings to you. So I just want to say thank you so much on behalf of all of us. It's a very thoughtful wad of cash. So. <laughs> 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 You know, looking back on the Iceland trip, it was just one of those amazing times where the group, the guide, and the country, everything just clicked to create this amazing and oftentimes quite overwhelming experience. Now, some of you might hear that and think, wait a minute, didn't you say the exact same thing about your tour in Morocco? And yeah, it's true, I did, but just wait till you hear about what happened with the tour in Thailand. But for this trip in Iceland, no word of exaggeration, it was like the happiest I'd been in two years. You know, I was away in the summer just beforehand, and I'd said often on that trip, I was like in a state of almost disbelief that I was actually traveling again. But on this trip, it felt like, right, I'm back, you know, I felt properly rejuvenated, like I'm back to exploring the world. Instead of being stuck at home, I'm out there filling my life with great experiences, with great people in a great country. And Iceland itself just completely blew my expectations away. Like, I'd seen a million pictures of it on Instagram and none of them do it justice. Like, I think the most overused phrase we had on this trip and in this video is, I've never seen anything like it. Because everywhere we went was just that bit better than we expected and there's always something extra to see and to experience. This is awesome! So it kind of goes without saying, I'll definitely be back there. I mean, it's only a three hour flight away, so I just want to get back there and explore loads more of that insanely beautiful country. But of course, going back there won't be the same without our group. <laughs> Smashed it. <laughs> everybody sing it. And thus it was that these 15 people, though eternally bound by friendship and love, had to part their separate ways. They returned home to their friends and family with tales of their great adventure. Sean, in particular, was going to have some very interesting conversations with his girlfriend for they all had just traveled to a magical land where natural wonders never cease to amaze. Dazzling their eyes and capturing their hearts, Iceland had left them all saying, Oh my.